The blood of all rocks has opened the way to the queen. She holds the next piece of the god mask which Gabriel must acquire if he is to be with his beloved again. She will try to seduce him, to glamour him, but he will see through her mask, I'm sure of it. He is so very strong now, and even she must fear her own death at his hands. I can smell her fear, her stench. Vampires can sense the living, but the dead she cannot. She knows Gabriel is here, yet she cannot sense death close at hand also. She knows what it is he wants. Poor, beautiful Carmilla, you will cry bloody tears before this night has ended. I am told that you are looking for me, warrior. That you seek to obtain the power of my other half. You are brave and handsome. Would you not prefer to stay with me forever? I can show you many things, many pleasures. Your empty promises mean nothing to me. You and your brothers have betrayed us all. You are the reason why the world is in darkness. <laughs> you are a fool, Gabriel. You think I don't know who you are? My sister in her piety wanted nothing but good for the world. But in her arrogance she begat me and brought doom upon herself. Mankind is ruined. And you must choose sides, warrior. I choose life, not death and decay as you have. Death is merely a question of perspective. We are not so different, you and I. Your god cannot save you now. You will be one of us eventually. It is inevitable. No. I will take the three powers and unite them. You would kill those who founded your own holy order. You are even more cold-blooded than I. Who is the real monster here, Gabriel? You poor, deluded fool. You think you can bring someone back from the dead, don't you? Someone you love. You are betrayed. There is no resurrection. Only this living death you see before you. Join her then.
Sorry, Gabriel. Really think that you can defeat me?
think that you can defeat me? Oblivion, Sempiternum, Daemonis. Soon, the destiny of every living being will be in the palm of your hand. I now know that the Founders of the Order created the Lords of Shadow. They are one and the same. They ascended into heaven as pure spirits, but left behind their dark sides. Why are we paying the price for their arrogance and stupidity? Tell me, what am I fighting for? Only when we look inside ourselves can we truly begin to understand. What is this sorcery? How far are you prepared to go to uncover the truth?